I've been mountain biking since I moved here in about 2000, so probably been riding bikes since then, so that's 18-ish years, but I've not been racing quite so long, but there's loads of stuff to do when you're a wee kid up here, so uh, that's probably how I got involved. I, I've done quite a lot of road racing and, uh, and I enjoy that as well, and, and I, I train a lot on the road, so I, I do both a lot, but I, uh, I like hitting trails and I like, I, I like the technical side to the sport, and, um, and it, it, it's a bit scary sometimes and that keeps, keeps me on my toes. I started mountain biking around here, this is, uh, this is where I'm from down here in Peebles and there's a, a great network of trails on this hill side up Glen Tress and there's hundreds of kilometres of trails up here, marked stuff, uh, man-made trails but obviously there's all the all the surrounding areas full of uh, unmarked trails and, and you're able to ride anywhere so that's one of the, the great things in Scotland that you can, as long as you're respectful of, of the different people and the different laws and stuff, you can, uh, you can take your bike and go explore. I moved here just when they were just starting to, to develop this place. There wasn't really any trails here, so I kind of grew up with the trails and then every week you'd find a new track and, and, it, and it, would, it was quite exciting. So that got me into, into the sport and then once I was in, I was regularly, regularly riding my bike up here and all over, all over Scotland in the end, yeah. I mainly compete in cross country and that's obviously got a World Cup level um, sport, so they're based throughout the world alongside um, downhill, which is, it's a timed run from the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill, and, and you get a lift to the top on uh, specific bikes, and, uh, and that's, that's technically focused. And cross-country mountain bike is usually based on a five to six kilometer circuit, and you'll race approximately six or seven laps. So um, it's a mass start event as well, so you line up against all your competitors, and it's, and it's, it's bang, and everyone goes. someone starting out it's, it's it's kind of just exciting and and the off-road the technical aspect of the sport kind of makes it makes it interesting gives you a bit of an adrenaline rush so it's it's kind of that and obviously you're outside and you're you're up and down different hills seeing people and getting outside and, and that's that's kind of the, the main part but um it's probably the technical aspect that makes it a bit um unique and a bit different to to road cycling The main difference is on the bike is obviously the fact that um, you ride a bigger tyre with more grip to, to handle the off-road terrain. You've got suspension, usually front and rear, sometimes just front. You've got quite a wide range of gears to handle the short, steep climbs. Uh, and obviously the bar setup's a bit different. You're, you're in a more uh, aggressive position to be able to corner and, and carry speed through the different features you find off-road compared to, to a road bike. So the sport of mountain bike has, has a lot of short and intense efforts. Usually, usually you just You'll be flat out up a climb and kind of try and recover over the top and then and you hit the descent um, usually on your limit and you're trying to concentrate on what, what's coming. So it's kind of all out and then you're trying to recover and, and, um, and carry good speed. So it's, it's kind of it's a very intense sport, the uh, cross-country mountain biking now. There's a, a lot of variations in, um, in the conditions and the, the, the courses we can compete on. If, for example, we've got a dry, dusty race that would be completely different to a completely wet, muddy, slippy, different tyres, different setup. And also, you've got the rock gardens, you've got roots, you're in the forest, sometimes you're in the open, sometimes it's flat, sometimes it's hilly. So there's a, a huge variation in the, in the kind of races and tracks that we're competing on, and, uh, and that gives the sport um, quite a unique aspect. The skill set you can see across quite a across the whole sport so for example like Peter Sagan uh, when you see him descending on the road and riding perhaps the classics uh, he's uh, quite aggressive and, and there's a lot of that in, in mountain biking you know hitting, hitting stuff as fast as you can and seeing how far you can push it before you push it a bit too far. I enjoy, enjoy racing at the highest level of mountain bike and um, I'm not quite at the front uh, or near the front of mountain bike world cup so that's that's an ongoing goal that I'm trying to trying to tackle and, uh, and just to be one of the one of the top boys in the sport would be would be would be the goal for me.